MPLAB Harmony version 3 software framework is now configurable through Microchip's famous Code Configurator tool, MPLAB Code Configurator, or MCC. This video discusses how to configure and generate MPLAB Harmony version 3 library code using MCC and is broken down into two parts. In the first part, we will show you how to create a new MPLAB Harmony version 3 project using MCC. And in the second part, we will show you how to migrate an existing MHC-based MPLAB Harmony version 3 project to an MCC-based Harmony version 3 project. The hardware used in this video includes the SAM E51 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit used in Part 1 and the Curiosity PIC32 MZEF 2.0 development board used in Part 2. The software used in this video includes MPLAB Harmony Packages, MPLAB Code Configurator, MPLAB XIDE, and MPLAB XC32 Compiler. If you are new to MCC, be sure to watch our video, Getting Started, MPLAB XIDE Essentials, Installation and Ecosystem to learn how to install MCC. Let's start with part one of this video. Our goal here is to create a new MCC-based Harmony version 3 project on the SAM E51 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit to demonstrate an LED toggle on a timeout basis and to print the LED toggling rate on a PC serial terminal. To achieve this, we will create a project using MCC, configure the clock settings, serial communication, real-time clock, direct memory access, external interrupt controller peripheral libraries, and the pin settings. We will also generate code, build the project, and observe the output. To get started, launch MPLAB XIDE and select File, New Project. In the New Project window, select Microchip Embedded in the Categories window and select 32-bit MCC Harmony Project in the Projects window. Click Next. Enter the path in which the MPLAB Harmony version 3 packages are downloaded. Click Next. Enter the location, MPLAB X project folder and project names as shown here. Click Next. Enter a suitable configuration name and choose the ATSAM E51 J20A MCU. Then click Finish to create and open the MPLAB Harmony version 3 project. Before proceeding, set up the Compiler Toolchain. Click on the Project Settings icon in the Dashboard tab and select the latest Compiler Toolchain. After the project is created, click on the MCC button to launch the MCC plugin. The MCC plugin will open and the MCC plugin's main window for the project will be displayed. MCC configures a default clock for you. Verify the clock settings by selecting the Clock Configuration plugin under the Project Graph window. To add and configure peripheral libraries for the MCU, go to the Resource Management tab on the left, then to the Device Resources tab and Expand Libraries, Harmony, Peripherals. Click on the plus button to add and configure the RTC PLIB as shown here. Similarly, add and configure the USART PLIB as shown here. To configure the USART pins, select the pin configuration in the plugins dropdown and configure as shown here. Perform the DMA configuration as shown here. Disable the USART interrupt as we are using the DMA to notify completion of data transfer. Configure the switch button with EIC, as shown here. Configure the LED pin, as shown here. Finally, generate the code. You can examine the generated code files anytime. Clean and build the project to verify whether it builds successfully. Open the main file and implement the application code to toggle LED zero on a timeout basis and to print the LED toggling rate on the serial terminal. Build and program the project. To observe the outputs, open a serial terminal, such as TerraTerm, and connect to the Curiosity Virtual COM port and click OK. Set the baud rate to 115,200. You will now see LED zero on the SAM E51 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit toggling on a timeout basis. 
and the default periodicity of the timeout is 500 milliseconds. Press the switch SW0 to change the default sampling rate to one second. Every subsequent pressing of the SW0 switch changes the default sampling rate to two seconds, four seconds, 500 milliseconds, and back to one second in cyclic order. That completes the first part of the video. Now let's demonstrate how to migrate an existing MHC-based MPLAB Harmony version 3 project to an MCC-based Harmony version 3 project. Our goal is to update and configure an existing MHC-based project, getting started application to an MCC-based project on the Curiosity PIC32 MZEF 2.0 development board. This application demonstrates an LED1 toggle when the switch SW1 is pressed, LED3 when switch SW3 is pressed and prints the LED toggling rate onto the serial terminal. To achieve this, we will open an existing MHC based project using MCC, configure the GPIO pins and generate the code using the MCC, and extend the application code, build, program, and observe the outputs. To get started, download the existing MHC project from the link shown here. Launch MPLAB XIDE and close any open projects. Go to File, Open Project. Select the project from the downloaded path. Right-click and select the Set as Main Project option. Go to Tools, Embedded, and open the MPLAB Code Configurator. Import the MHC project into MCC by clicking the Yes button on the pop-up window. After loading, the MCC opens the project graph, resource management, and configuration options. At this stage, MCC has successfully migrated the MHC project to MCC. Now let's verify the clock settings to make sure it is properly migrated. Select and verify the PLIB UART 6 configurations. Select and verify the PLIB I2C1 configurations. Select and verify the Timer 1 configurations. Select and verify the DMA configurations. Verify the I2C PIN configurations. Verify the USART PIN configurations. And finally, Verify the switch and LED pin configurations. Now, let's update the project by configuring the GPIO pins for LED3 and SW3 as shown here. Generate the code using MCC. Please note, when migrating the project from MHC to MCC, for the first time generation, do not merge the conflict shown for the main file, as this is a pre-developed MHC application file. For any subsequent regeneration, this merge conflict is not shown. Navigate to the Projects tab and examine the generated code files. Clean and build to verify the project build successfully. At this point, you are ready to extend the application code in the project. Download the solution project from the link shown here. Replace the main file with the pre-developed file under the unzip solution dev underscore files folder. Update the application code as shown here to toggle LED1 when the switch SW1 is pressed and to toggle LED3 when switch SW3 is pressed. Click on the Make and Program button to build and program successfully. Open the TerraTerm application or similar and connect to a COM port and click OK. Set the baud rate to 115,200. LED1 on the Curiosity PIC32 MZEF 2.0 development board toggles for every 500 milliseconds and the LED toggling rate is displayed on the serial terminal. Press the switch SW1 to change the periodicity of the timeout to one second. Every subsequent pressing of the switch SW1 changes the periodicity of the timeout to two seconds, four seconds, 500 milliseconds, and back to one second in cyclic order. Press the switch SW3 to change the toggling LED from LED1 to LED3. Press the switch SW1 to change the toggling LED from LED3 to LED1. As discussed earlier, during the switch, the toggling rate remains the same. 
That completes the second part of the video. The detailed steps to create a new MCC-based Harmony version 3 application project and to migrate an existing MHC-based to MCC-based Harmony version 3 project are available as tutorials on our developer help portal shown here. There are two ways these tutorials can be used. You can use the provided source files and step-by-step -step instructions to create the project from scratch, or you can download the solution project, build, and program to the development board or kit to observe the expected behavior. And finally, this is the MPLAB Harmony landing page where you can find all the information about Harmony version 3. We hope you have enjoyed these demonstrations. Thanks for watching.